Hello and welcome to the tutorial on Power BI. In this session of the tutorial, let's understand how do we build a meaningful report with Power BI. Let's start. Now that we know most of the features of Power BI, let's start creating a full meaningful report. For this purpose, I have assumed a data set which is as that of hospital. As you can see from this bar, that my data set has the patient ID, his or her general general health, whether they exercise or not, whether they have a health plan or not, whether they smoke or not, what is their height, what is their weight, and what is their desired weight, what is their age, and what is their gender. Now, going to the analysis part, first, I am I would want to see my patients bifurcated by gender. So, for values, I am choosing my patient ID. As soon as, my click on, as soon as I click on my patient ID, I get to see different options to aggregate the data. Now, since I want to know the count of patients, I am just selecting count or to be frank, it is selected by default. If I want to change it as count distinct, I can change it. But still, now I want to see it just as a count and I want this data to be bifurcated based on gender. Clicking on gender, the data gets pulled to the legend. So as you can see, my black bar shows my male patients and the green shows my female patients. Next visualization of my interest is a stack bar chart. Here I want to see my data bifurcated by whether they hold a health plan or not. For this, I am choosing patient ID as my measure. Here again, the data is getting aggregated as a count. Since I want to look at the data based on health plan, I am choosing health plan as my axis. So here, this gives me all those patients who don't have a health plan, while this gives me all the patients who have a health plan. I am creating one more visualization where I am analyzing the patients based on whether they smoke or not. Here again, my legend would be smoking while my value would be patient ID and the aggregation here is also a count. Then I am using this card to know what is the number of patients that are present in my data set. So from this card, I can get to see that there are totally 200 patients that are part of my hospital. I am dragging and dropping one more card where I am clicking on age. This, as you can see, gives me 8532, which is a very meaningless information because nobody can live up to the age of 8532. Clicking on this arrow, I get to see different age options, different aggregation options which are available for this measure. Since I want to see what is the age of my patient, in this case, I want to see the minimum age of my patient. So clicking on minimum, I get to see minimum age of my patient is 1, which means that my youngest patient is of age 1. I would also want to see what is the maximum age of my patient. So from this I can see that my oldest patient is of age 77. Similarly, I am dragging and dropping age once again where I am setting my aggregation as average. So this means that on an average the patients are of age 42.66. This is called as a multi cut. If you see here this card can always hold only one information whereas a multi cut looks similar to a card but it can hold multiple information. So here I am dragging and dropping my patients as I drag and drop my patient, since there is no any other attribute present in the card, the aggregation gets set to count. But I don't want this information to be summarized. So I'm just clicking don't summarize. Here, as you can see, how I get to see all the patients ID, all the patient IDs that are present in my data set. Now I'm clicking on age. So this means that the patient with patient ID 121453 is of age 21. And so 
so are the other records as well i will click on health plan now so this shows me that this pa this patient of age 21 does not have a health plan this patient of age 4 has a health plan i'm clicking on smoking whether they smoke or not so this shows me that this person of age 21 does not have a health plan and does not smoke as well that's all in this session of this video tutorial if you like this video please like comment and subscribe for more videos